Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the master of puppets, today joined by Brett of Anomyces. <laughs> <laughs> that joke never gets old. No. Uh, but today guys, we're looking at a pretty cool beer that I got from beerjump.com. Great web shop, link for the shop is down below and you should check them out right now because they have a summer sale going. So this guys is from a collab beer between two American breweries, this is between Boulevard and Firestone Walker. Firestone Walker is fucking ace. Yeah. Boulevard is really good too. Both are now owned by Dubin Mortget or partially owned. Um, so they're kind of sister breweries. They talk about that on the label too. But Boulevard was known for uh, making their Tank 7 uh, and still is a great Saison. One of the better American Saisons, like old school Saisons. But uh, Firestone Walker is of course known from the, yeah. for the barrel aging project. Still really, really good. And uh, they came together in this uh, collaboration from, from Boulevard's uh, Smokestack series. And this is the sixth beer in the collaboration series. And this is the uh, Boulevard Smokestack series number uh, collaboration number six between Boulevard and Firestone Walker barrel aged blend. So what Firestone Walker does with a lot of their beers, especially their anniversary ales, is that they do blending. So they every year for their anniversary, they get winemakers, local winemakers to the brewery, and they try and blend different amounts of their different barrel-aged beers for a final product. And that series of beer is great. Uh, the 14 is still one of the best beers I've ever had, the Firestone Walker 14. So uh, Matt Brindelson from Firestone Walker led some of his expertise with blending to um, Stephen Pauls from... Uh, Boulevard and they came together and blended some of their each of their beers So it's a blend of the Imperial Stout X Tart Cherry Edition from Boulevard and their Bourbon Barrel Age Quad Which is actually I think one of the highest rated American quads and then Sticky Monkey and Velvet Merkin from Firestone Walker So it's a blend of an Imperial Stout a, with cherries uh, I think that's barrel aged, Bourbon Barrel Age maybe a Bourbon Barrel Age Quad, Sticky Monkey which is like a golden barrel aged body wine or okay. something and Velvet Merkin, which is a, an Imperial Bourbon Barrel Age Milk Stout. Yep. I remember uh, that one. So, yeah, this sounds really cool. It will be fun to try this one. I mean, Firestone Walker's Barrel Age series. I haven't had any of the uh, Boulevard beers that's in here, but I've had both of the Firestone Walker beers. But, yeah, pours like, kind of like a party wine in the corner. Yeah. I guess this is what we'd call like an American Strong Ale, because it's a blend of all those yeah. different beers. Makes sense. Yeah, it's... Kind of a, yeah, it looks like an American strong ale. Yeah, like dark, probably. ruby red, yeah. with yeah. some copper kind of notes yeah. in the bottom of the glass. It's not really brown, it's just, it just has that uh, uh, yeah, ruby red a, kind of. Yeah, brown, ruby red kind of yeah. color. A nice kind of beige, one finger head to it. Looks nice, let's check out the aroma. Yep. Oh, I'm really getting the quad. Yeah, the really quad, getting... is, quad is really shining through. It, may, it reminds me a bit of a penny pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quad and cherries. Yeah. And I, I don't know if that's just cherries from the, like, actual flavors from the quad, or it's cherries from the, the X, uh, was it X Imperial Stout? Yeah. But that's in there too, and there's definitely also parts of Sticky Monkey, that really sweet, um, kind of almost like sugary bourbon. Yeah. Almost like a caramelized that? bananas or something. Yeah, 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 actually, yeah, caramelized bananas, almost like you flambe them. Yeah, bourbon. exactly. I'm not really picking up on Velvet Merkin, but I no. guess the Imperial Stout and Velvet Merkin are the beers that is least off maybe in the blend yeah, because yeah. they're not sticking out. But the quad is really nice in there. It's like yeah. big dark fruit and figs and it's got like caramelly notes yeah. as well, like fudgy notes. Yeah, and, and then, then the barley perfect. wine. Definitely the, the quad and the barley wine. Uh, it was barley wine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there is, I think, blonde barley wine, but there is definitely something that's reminding me of cherries. And I think it's maybe... Yeah. Part of that ex imperial stout, but with the bourbon barrel. Yeah, I agree. Quad. There's definitely something. Uh, it's kind of Belgian y. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, kind of like of a cherry. mix. Of, yeah, yeah. It's like a mix of Belgian and, and just different aromas, like yeah. stout like aromas almost. It's like it's maybe more toasted than roasted notes. Yeah. There's almost like a toasted breadiness. And it's pretty and toasty, interesting. Toasty, oaky barrel notes. It smells quite nice. Yeah. Let's give it a taste. Yeah. Cheers. And thanks to Virgin for the beer. That's really nice. Yeah. That is very, it's it's quad-like for sure. Yeah, it's really quad-like. The quad really shines through. However, there is a roasty tendency. Like, yeah. uh, I think Velvet Merkin maybe stands, uh, slash, maybe the X Stout, I haven't had that, but stands out more in the flavor because there is a toasted roastiness and 
also a sweetness that reminds you of something like an oatmeal stout, which Velvet Mercury. I agree. Is. I agree. You definitely sense the there's something from an imperial stout shining through. Yeah, like a coffee chocolate yeah, type thing. Exactly, and kind of a yeah roasty, roasty vibe that you don't get from a quadruple. Yeah, and a big bourbon, and almost like uh, I'm getting almost like wine-like characters, like mm. vineyards red wine type flavor with the drying oaky flavor yeah. it's and actually lightly tart like uh, yeah. from like Probably a cherry, cherry kind of yeah, yeah. yeah like a cherry tart tartness yeah it reminds me in, in several ways of the panapod because yeah. the panapod also has elements of an imperial stout yeah i think they into. categorize this i don't know if they call it a fisherman's ale you know, i think at yeah Destroys or destroys or whatever yeah. it's called uh but it's it definitely a rem reminiscent of something like that, actually, yeah. as you say. Like a barrel aged, like the Grand Reserva mm. Pedapot mm. or something like that. Exactly that one awesome I was beer. thinking of. Because it's a uh, virgin oak barrel aged, but this is more like, it's a similar type flavor, but it's more bourbon but hefty. I re Great as, sweetness, too. As I recall, um, that, that Pedapot also has those kind of caramelized uh, aromas and you know uh, kind of uh, nuances in you know in the taste this is like caramelized figs and raisins yeah. and that kind of almost caramelized banana I'm, I'm still picking up on that yeah which is probably from the Belgian yeast this is a really fun blend because you can kind of pinpoint the things in it like the different beers it's, it's like it's almost like a just a hint of a stout like quality to it but the, I think the probably the majority of the beer is the quad Along with Sticky Monkey, I'd yeah, I think so. Because it's also also got like that big fudgy caramel, sweet brown sugar kind of barley wine type flavor. Yeah. Along with the the quad, which is a lot of dark fruits, it's also got like some vanilla, kind of like some tanniny notes from the wood as well. Yeah, and, I, and it's quite dry. I think that blends into that kind of sugary caramelized thing, the vanilla, mm. the vanilla note. Really nice medium mouthfeel. And chewy, but also quite dry. It's like almost like you get a chewy flavor from the stout and barley wine, but the the, the Belgian beer kind of dries the other beers out. Almost. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's drying. This is really good, actually. So and the much. balance of flavor is really well done. Yeah, it's not like anything specific that's sticking out. It's just everything is very well interwoven into each yeah. other. I uh, I agree. This is really tasty. I'm thinking like rain wise, ninety five or ninety six. Yeah. I was thinking kind of, yeah, and I think I was thinking 95 mostly. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll join you on that, 95. Yeah. It's really well made. I think yeah. the Barrel Age series, uh, like blending from Firestorm Walker, the anniversary series, is a bit better, but it's in like it's, it's in the same vein, yeah. just with a more built-in tone to it. Yeah. I, I think the, 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 the really nice uh, Imperial Stouts and, and Sour Ales I've had from Firestone Walker are just maybe a tad better than this one but yeah. this is still really nice really really nice so yeah. if you guys had a chance to try the uh boulevard and firestone walker collaboration number six from boulevard smokestack series barrel aged blend let us know what you thought of it uh, hop on to beer gym again i'm not sure if they still have this <laughs> one because i had so much beer to review after cbc so maybe they don't but they still have a summer sale that you should check out so let us know what you thought of it, guys. What's your favorite Boulevard bar beer and what's your favorite Firestone beer? I think my favorite Firestone Walker beer is probably Parabola. Yeah. If you've ever had that. Yeah, or Sukaba, which it. they don't make anymore. I, I had it this year. What? But I also... Uh, I actually forget the name now. I had a Raspberry Sour this okay. year at NBCC, which was really, really good. Uh, yeah, I, I don't yeah. know why. But Firestone the, Walker is an awesome... Yeah. Awesome the name brewery. of the beer escaped me right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, happens. Yeah. But yeah, if anyone from Firestone Walker ends, ends up finding this video, please make Sukaba again. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the best English style barrel aged barley wines I've ever had. So good. But rambling, done. Yeah. Let us know what you think of the beer, guys, if you had a chance to try it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer video.